Hey guys, well I've been thinking about multi-core CPUs specifically, and I've been thinking about them in relation to gaming PCs. Now, who's actually running more than four cores on a gaming PC? Hmm. Hey guys, and welcome back to Back Beyond Tech. It's been a while, but I'm back. Back in the saddle, back recording videos, back making content for you guys. Feels good, I've done a lot of work on the channel, I've updated all the branding, I've got a new audio solution, um, I've got some more stuff for my camera which we'll talk about in another video. But back to the topic of today, multi-core CPUs. And this has mainly come out of all the product launches this year including Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Threadripper, Intel releasing the i9 series. And I was just wondering, who's buying them? As a person that owns two 6-core, 12-thread CPU PCs, I was just wondering, who else is buying these? Who's buying them for gaming? I wouldn't recommend them for gaming. They're great for what I do, but I wouldn't recommend them for gaming. So I got to thinking, where am I going to get this info from? Steam. Obviously Steam. Steam's hardware survey is great. So we've been on there. I think I can remember most of the stuff I want to talk about. And by the magic of Adobe, slides will appear on the screen as I talk about different things. So, first of all, the most important thing is CPU. So what are people using? Well, the majority of people are still using a four core CPU. And that's four cores, no hyper threading. Now, the majority of these CPUs are running between 3.4 and 3.69 gigahertz, off the top of my head. That to me just says i5. Probably an Ivy Bridge i5. Maybe a Haswell i5, but it's definitely an i5. Now, leading on from that, the majority of us are still using 8 gigs of RAM. Seems fair, I would say 16 is what you need now, but the majority of people in the Steam survey are still using 8 gigs. And then the next big purchase that you're going to make is the GPU. So, what are people using? I was really surprised that the GTX 750Ti tops out the table closely followed by the GTX 1060 which makes a lot of sense a lot of people are still running 970s and then you go maybe 10, 10 places down the league table and you start to get to the, the AMD offerings so you know some of the new RX 480 stuff not many 500 series cards but then you get to the likes of the 280 and the 290 so that makes sense people are holding on to their GPUs rather than upgrading year on year. I mean I do that because I've always got a card that I can sell and buy another one. Buy the latest one. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then moving on from that, the next big thing for me, especially as I own one 4K panel and one 1440p panel, is what resolution are people playing at? Well, around 40% of people are still playing at 1080p. So according to Steam guys and I know the results in the Steam survey are skewed by people who use laptops, etc, etc, but let's face it, you're not going to get a better data set than Steam for what the average gamer is using. It's a massive platform and it runs it runs a plugin in the background so you can't you don't have to manually enter what you're running. It just collects the data. So you can you can pretty much be safe in the accuracy of this uh, of this survey. So Based on that, the average gaming PC is a 4-core running between 3.4 and 3.69 GHz, 8 gigs of RAM, a bang for buck GPU like a, a 970 or a 1060, something like that. And then on the AMD side, maybe someone holding on to their R9290 or maybe an RX 480. Either way, it's that middle of the road sweet spot and a 1080p panel. Um, that kind of surprised me. I thought more people would have been using i7s, would be using hyper-threaded CPUs. I thought certainly the clock speed would be higher. I thought now that more people would be overclocking, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So it seems to me that most people just get their PC, whether they buy it or they build it themselves, they don't bother tweaking it because they just want to play games and that's great. So what does that all that mean for you guys? Well, it means this, I am going to build an average gaming PC according to what Steam are saying and I'm gonna see how it performs and I'm gonna see if I could live with one and it just so happens I already have an average gaming PC built 
Fair enough, it's running a Haswell i7, but I'm going to disable the hyper threading and turn it into an i5. Um, it's running a little bit faster than the Steam survey would suggest. It's running at about 4 gigahertz, but again, it's neither here nor there. It's still going to have the four cores. It's going to have 8 gigs of RAM. It's going to have a GTX 970, and it's going to have a 1080p panel, guys. So that's really it for this video. Uh, like I said, interested by the results that I found. Can't wait to start game playing and game testing on the, the average machine. And I'll come back to you soon with the results, guys. Not sure what I'm going to find. I'm kind of hoping that I haven't wasted a ton of money on two 6-core 12-thread machines. Mm. Anyway, take it easy and I'll catch you again in another great tech video. Bye.